is co-regulation working for you or against you is the topic of discussion for this video. I'm Helen from Creating Shifts with Helen, which is all about helping you to get to the root of the things that have been keeping you stuck and holding you back so that we can shift them and you can make the changes you've been craving, the transformations, move from surviving to thriving. I'm dancing as my sessions include inspired dance which is a form of somatic processing and I like to give a little taster of what it's about as dance can make people think about what we see on telly or the formal learned type of dance and inspired dance is nothing like that it's free flow it's not choreographed it's just moving as the body feels inspired to move. So, is co-regulation working for or against you? Well, first of all, what is co-regulation? Simply put, co-regulation means that our nervous system co-regulates with the nervous systems of those around us. Co-regulating means that basically we mirror the nervous systems of those that we spend time with. And this can be a good thing or a bad thing if we're in the company of people who are high anxiety and we get drawn into that, our system, our nervous system co-regulates with that, then that's probably not a good thing, most people would agree. On the flip side, if we are around people whose nervous systems are calm and our nervous system mirrors that, then that keeps us calm. So we can get dragged into nervous system responses and our nervous system can mirror nervous system responses of those that we don't want to be mirror, mirroring. And you can see this, I'm sure, in your own experiences where you've matched someone's level of anxiety over something where their fight-flight response is triggered and their level of anxiety is heightened you can probably see where you've been dragged into that or on the flip side where you've been calmed in the presence of someone. Some people we can be around and they just have a really calming impact on us. That's because their nervous system is calm and our nervous system is mirroring that. So we match those and if you have children you've probably experience this on many different occasions where they get triggered we can sometimes get triggered with them and our heart starts racing and we can get to start feeling worked up and tense or we can we can probably also think of the times where they've been triggered but we've remained calm and then seeing the impact that has on them being drawn into our calmness and being soothed by that calmness. So those two different situations can play out very differently and I'm sure you can think of plenty of different occasions where you've experienced the two opposite and of course there's like everything in between two. It's, it's not one or the other, it's not a duality, it's, it is a whole spectrum but it, it's we can use the two ends of the spectrum to to really highlight it. So I know that I had experiences with my dog, uh, when one of my dogs very anxious and I remember that when he was getting anxious, when he was triggered, my anxiety would start to, to rise. And when I realised that and was able to keep myself calm, 
then the impact on him was brilliant because instead of us both rising up that anxiety type of ladder, us both having that stress response, I would remain calm and he would then match me because it's not just people that co-regulate any social animal, any animal that naturally lives in groups, their nervous systems will do this, their nervous systems will match the nervous systems of those in their group, those that they spend time with. So yeah, absolutely use it with your animals too. And how much better is it when we are aware of this and we can manage our nervous system response with more intention rather than being dragged into somebody else's when we're aware of it we can keep our nervous system calm the best way to do that is deep breathing deep breathing is so underrated but if our heart if, if we're being dragged into an anxiety type a stress type response what's happening internally physically physiologically is that our heart is beating faster, our breathing gets shallower and faster, we start getting tense. It's that fight-flight response, our body is getting ready to fight or flee or freeze. So when we can take deep breaths, it slows all that down. Physiologically, it works absolute wonders. And yeah, definitely deep breath, deep breathing is is underrated and, and as as a society we don't use it in the way that we can we don't utilize its full its full use its full benefit so yeah the beauty in knowing about co-regulation is that we can absolutely make it work for us rather than against us we can build our resilience we can be more intentional with it we can use those deep breaths and other calming methods to keep our nervous system calm and then not only does that mean we're not being dragged into somebody else's stress response anxiety response it means that they too can regulate with us and we can be that calming influence on them and how wonderful is that with people we're around that you know we may have family members who suffer with anxiety and being mindful of this and managing our nervous system benefits us and them too so it is really a wonderful thing to start getting on our side rather than it working against us and just being dragged into the nervous system responses of those around us and somatic processing in the form of inspired dance like this is something that can help us to calm our nervous system overall so that we're, we've got a good balance to begin with. Um, it's been shown conscious dance has been shown and dance's movement therapy too has been shown to calm overactive nervous systems. So it's something that we can do to have the foundation, the balance to be starting from a good point and then be less inclined to be drawn into somebody's anxiety or stress response. So I'm going to be holding a free three day challenge within the next few months. So check out my social media keep an eye on that to see when my free challenge is and you'll be able to experience inspire dance yourself and see the wonderful benefits that it can have so my handle on tiktok on youtube my channel and on facebook is all creating shifts with helen or you can actually go to my website www creatingshiftswithhelen.com and find my waitlist there so that you can be on the waitlist and I'll get in touch with you when any of my programs are due or when my challenge is due when that's happening 
I'd love to hear your comments below this and how you get on with it. And thanks for watching.